Hey guys, what is going on? It is Josh Norton 22 and we're going to be opening up the Legend Bundle today. Usually I don't open up bundles this big, but I couldn't resist that topper with the Team of the Year item and everything like that. So, you know, let's go ahead and jump right into this. we got 14 packs plus a topper. We get a Legend and a Team of the Year. So, if the topper's terrible, I'm probably not even going to upload the video. So, if you guys are seeing it, then that means stay tuned for the topper because it, it must be at least decent. All right, so we didn't get anything in that first pack, just the uh, the collectible, the eight men. Hopefully, I can at least pull one one regular legend out of these packs, maybe even a legend rookie. That'd be awesome. So here we go, second pack. <clears throat> Not getting really high overall golds. I'm get a Dicka collectible. Not sure how much that might be going for. You know, I did something last night. I bought some legend rookies too because I thought legend packs would be coming out soon. Um, I didn't know they'd be coming out today, but I did I did buy them for the future because a lot of them were pretty cheap. So hopefully um, these collectibles drove the price up on the rookies and I can sell them back or at least do the collection. Um, something like that. So, you know, I'm pulling the collectibles I figured I would. The Grams, the Ditkas, and Aikman and stuff like that. Hopefully I can at least get one good collectible out of this. Um, I, pull, I have the Munos rookie, so hopefully I can get some of the collectibles needed for his collection. That'd be awesome. We get a Harris collectible. I Man, I'd like to actually get a legend out of these. Um, that'd be that'd be nice too. I'm getting rid of all the uh, low overall golds. I'm just discarding them because I probably already have them, and they they really don't go for too much. So I'm just going to go ahead and discard most of these low overall golds I have to save my reserve space. So you guys don't freak out too much on that. So that pack was pretty nice. We got a Carter collectible and we got a Dante Moncrief. So. so that pack was definitely nice. Let's try to keep that rolling into pack number uh, six, I guess, or five. Get Alshon Jeffrey. Get a Blanda. So not. Not too much luck in these packs so far. Hopefully it doesn't stay that way the entire time. Hopefully it's just a little rough patch we got to uh, push through. So on into the next pack. Got eight packs left. And Marvin Jones. Get a Blitnikoff. So a lot of low overall golds in this one. Only high overall one was uh, the 84 I pulled. Seven packs left and... Then we'll open up this topper. So this topper definitely seems nice. That's that's one of the main reasons I end up getting this because the toppers just look too good to turn down. Like I said though, if you guys are watching this video, it means I must have pulled something good because I'm not going to upload it if it's just garbage because I'm just going to regret getting it. Let's get an Irvin collectible. Most of these collectibles really don't go for anything except for the new legends. Those are really the only ones that actually go for anything. So that's why I was hoping to pull a collectible from the new legends, but it doesn't look like I'm going to. No, we still got five packs left, so I'm not going to completely give up hope, but I was hoping the bundle would be better so far, and it hasn't been. Another Blitnikoff. I think that's the same one I pulled too. At least we got some high overall golds in that pack. We got four packs left. Cortland Finnegan, Antoine Kaysen, another Urban Collectible, same one I've already pulled. Get a Mod Brooks and a Danny Amendola. Now, I've recently made some upgrades to my team, so as you guys can see, I'm a 94 overall. So stay tuned for a lineup update. That'll be coming real soon. Another Carter collectible. I might be able to do that Chris Carter before long. Another Dante Moncrief. You know, I was selling him yesterday for about 12k a pop, so hopefully he's still going for a good bit. Got two packs left, and then we'll open up the topper, and we'll see who we get. Oh, we get an Andre Reed legend card. Let's go. That's actually a really good legend card. <clears throat> So that's a really nice card. I'm definitely going to have to check the price of that later on. So finally, in a legend pack, I actually get a legend. That's awesome. I would freak out more, but my, my wife's asleep behind me and I don't want to wake her up. 
So we got one pack left, and then we get to open up the topper. So you know, I'll probably just upload a video just, just based off the Andre Reed pulled. Um, get a Cunningham collectible, and the rest are just really low overall golds. So we'll go ahead and delete those, and then we'll go ahead and open up this topper. So here we go. <sighs> Let's do this. Get a Marshall Yonda and a Sterling Sharp. So a really good topper pack right there. Um, definitely better than I thought it was going to be. I really like this topper. Get a Marshall Yonda. Look at that card. 96 th strength, 83 acceleration, 95 run black, 92 pass block. Really like this card. I'm definitely going to try to sell this. Um, the the team of the year, if you guys haven't noticed, but it it's in FIFA and they're bringing it to Ultimate Team and this is the first year they've done it. So I really think that this has potential. Some of these cards have potential, especially with this bundle. So <clears throat> I actually got a really good pool and I'm pretty happy about this. Got two legends in that bundle. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like, comment below, um, follow me on Twitter. Link's in the description below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button down there at the bottom of my video. It'll take you straight to my channel and you can subscribe. And guys, that's pretty much it. And until the next video, peace.